Start out with that. Start, yeah. start, start out with, are you ready? Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Then let's go. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Hello. Oh, boy, yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Randall Monk and Ron Vazane here with the Gem of Wisdom. Oh, boy. Uh, lots happening. We're going to shake you up. We're just going to take a little different tack. We're going to try and uh, not try. We are going to upgrade and change uh, our routine a little bit, but it needs to be changed. Uh, so, so we can give you information so you can change. Faster, we're gonna. We are on the fast track, so jump on, hang on, away we go. Away we go. All right, take it away. Take it away. <laughs> <laughs> um, there are so many people from the past um, that have asked how Randy and I met, and some of you even think that we're a couple, <laughs> and we are not. We've been together many, many lifetimes, but never in a romantic relationship. <laughs> and. Uh, uh, we, I will explain that, that we are a part of a, tr uh, a trinity where there is a Melchizedek, a Michael, and a Metatron. And as time has gone on, we've had several Metatrons come in uh, and passing through, which we did different, like with Tiburon, and, uh, uh, and that we've done things with. And we have a, a new one uh, uh, that I won't talk about now, but a new one that, that is uh, has a very scientific background and so on. And so um, I we want to talk about that because it's very interesting. And uh, um, one of the things that I will share with you, and that is important because you're going to hear more about it as time goes on, uh, I don't know how many have read like some of the books of uh, She Who Remembers, some of the ancient ones, the medicine women, the shamans, and those back in the ages, in the beginning times, when we were in our instinctual, instinctual human nature, and we were, if we had a, an instinctual past, we had to have, we had to know how to protect ourselves, how to live, the food we could eat, what was not good for us, and so on. Uh, and, and otherwise, how would we survive? So that was our instinctual nature with somewhat of a conscious mind. And, and, uh, and even, even like when, when uh, the, the native, the, the indigenous people, they had totems. They had animal totems. They had animal guides. They had animal, what, uh, uh, vision quests. Vision quests, yeah. quest. And it was animals. The angels took the shapes of the animals. I have that that one video, that one meditation I have. Remember when oh, yeah, the, the animal guy oh, that meditation? That was a powerful one. Yeah. That's a, yes. And Meeting so, your totem animal. Oh, yeah. your totem, and this this you know yeah. lion or whatever it was, and all of a sudden it turned into this huge, beautiful angel. And so, always we've had the angels have been guiding us. The Davidic king has been guiding us. But it was in the manner that we could understand. Well, now that's changing. You know, our instinct, and, uh, our instinctual nature is becoming conscious. Our, our elemental consciousness is become conscious and aware. It took everything subjectively. It took everything as literal. And our, our even our body elemental, uh, it was difficult for it. It had to grow into conscious awareness because our, like our immune system and part of our body is seeing a lot of this energy as disruptive or as negative or bad for us. That's why so many people are having like autoimmune diseases, allergies, and these strange things happening. And so we need to understand at, a, at this basic level what is transpiring. So we, uh, one of the things I am being told from the council is that we have reached up to bring forth and bring down in our pyramid of light and all of that is very important and it's wonderful. Bring down all of this energy, this higher frequency. We're to the point now that we're in overload. So, so a lot of our focus now is going to be on what we have to do to balance that for the physical body, connecting with the earth, connecting with the elemental nature, connecting with our ancient divine blueprint. For we need that divine blueprint of our beginning as well as we reach for the higher frequencies of it. And so that's going to be a lot of our focus as the time goes on. 
And so I've done several things that I've gotten, of, and uh, uh, Brandy and I talk about these things. So, you know, I get them and we discuss them and talk about it. It's ongoing. So let's get back to Randy and me first. We'll talk about that, and then we'll, at the end, uh, I'll talk more about these things. But um, Randy and I go back. Archangel Michael tells us that we came together as a unit up there when the Archangel stepped down into the sixth dimension, into that great hologram, in preparation for this divine blueprint in this sub-dimension, in this universal divine blueprint of duality. We stepped when we were in this sub-dimension, at the sixth dimension, we came together as a unit, a whole, and there's others. We have more extensive start a soul family that's coming together. But we came together in order to do what we're doing now. And so as as part of that, one of the things that I get is when I connect with the part of my soul family, since I am now tapping into the fifth dimension, uh, I begin to get the pattern, just like with my trilogy, the trilogy of my past lives and also many of the other past lives that I've gotten, I began to get the connection that we have had. So a couple of important ones for Randy and I is we left, um, as we left Lemuria and came to Mount Shasta, and as all of these groups, and 144, they left, and we went down to Tahoe. There was a booklet that process, uh, the process. We asked you, are you one of the, uh, the Lemurian star seed? And it goes from Tahoe, uh, to uh, Grimes Point, uh, this this triangle that we have here, this sacred triangle that I was told to activate. I was a priestess. Randy was a priest warrior. We went to the Salt Lake Valley, and then we were to be the keeper of the great crystalline energy and of the storage of some of the great uh, uh, treasures that were brought from, that that uh, were brought here for the future. And there was a rogue group of warriors that came up from uh, from uh, uh, the south, from I think from Atlantis. I'm not sure, but anyway, there was a warrior group that came forward, and we were we were peaceful and benevolent. We met them, and we tried to, we tried to uh, uh, what do you say negotiate with yeah. them, and uh, but they weren't having they weren't having that, and so their leader. With his sword, he went across my chest and across my leg, and that's what the, the, this, this pelvic, this pelvic dislocation that I had at five years old. That was a part of that for me to bring forth the heal. Randy died. Randy, as a warrior priest, perished trying to save me, and we both died in that lifetime. But then it goes on. We go on as as a priest together in, in uh, Atlantis and, and many, many major lifetimes. And that's going to be the way with all of you, too. Did we talk about these twin flames and twin, twin souls? It's so much faster than that. It's not just about a love affair. It's about soul rites of passage, about coming together with your soul family, with your soul family, so that you, because he has information and wisdom and other, all of these others that I'm coming, we're coming together with, they have, they have experienced things that we haven't, and so we're changing these memory seed atoms with each other, either in, either when we get to that upper fourth dimensional level, and we begin, our soul song becomes harmonious, and we begin to send out those waves, that cos that that, that, that cosmic uh, uh, symphony, those those uh, thought waves, they go out and connect with the person of, of our soul family that is compatible at that level. And there is then an energy exchange. They give us the information that is applicable for us and activates it, and we do the same thing. We do that physically now. I'm doing that with several other people now who are going to be, who are now becoming a part of my new team. And I'm finding out some rich and beautiful history of what we've been in the past. Isn't that exciting to learn who you've been, where you've been, what you've been, what you've done, what you've accomplished, what you didn't accomplish, or what you didn't get right? 
And so that's going to kind of be a focus for our future teaching. We've given you a lot of the basics from Michael's past teachings, and and but now, uh, along with the teachings, you're going to have to. How many of you are actually doing the practices? How many of you are practicing the infinite birth? How many of you go uh, every day into your pyramid of light and and lie on the crystal table? And commune, or try, it or endeavor to merge with your sacred triad. It's not going to be anything but information until you do that. You have to do the work. You have to contemplate. You have to. You can't just read it once. You can't just listen to a video. Those are those are enticing and they're interesting, but it's the lazy man's plan. It's those that who they're interested but they're not willing to do the work. And I may be a little tougher on you in the future when, you know, you write all these things to us about, oh, I can't do this, I can't do that, I don't. Come on. Are you with us or not? Are you like Michael said, there's no longer, there's no longer a status quo. You're no longer able to just get away, but to not step out of your comfort zone. You're either going to go this way or you're going to go this way because the earth, and, and humanity are going up here. And I'm going to talk about later about holograms and how that affects you and how important it is and how you need to understand the universal laws. There are universal laws that apply like in the third dimensional environment and those go forward but they're expanded on and they are uh, they, they, they become deeper, uh, more um, more powerful and and uh, and it it begins to tax your 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 speaker, your, or expand your mind, and but it is necessary because that's where you're going to get the gems of wisdom are going to turn in to activate talents and attributes and qualities and virtues. You're going to have to work for those. So I've I've brought up a few articles and later on, Randy is thinking about uh, focusing on some different classes. He'll be telling you about that when he's ready. But these are going to be how-tos. They're not going to be long, drawn-out classes. They are going to be specific. They're going to be powerful. They're going to focus on some particular level of awareness that you need. There are steps that you go, there is, and you have to uh, take the different steps as you move along. But anyway, uh, we, we are going to do this for all of you so that you can begin to feel, understand, embrace, use, and become all of those things that you have to be in order to become a self-master. <clears throat> so in the future, some of the things I'll be talking about, think about this. There is instinct, which is animal human nature in the beginning, those instinctual things that are inbred within us from that third and lower fourth dimension. You turn, then there is intellect, and the intellect is that which you came in with, you, that you are trained and, and, and you are fed your culture, your religion, the country you live in, your family, your neighborhood, your teachers. That's where you're in, that's where that's, that's you're the programming that most people had. They say in the past, many, most people never had an individualized, a, 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 an original thought. And so from intellect, then you go to imagination. And that progresses like with this opening the seven seals. <clears throat> As you begin to download those facets of your soul self and the different information for that level, those gift attributes and qualities, then you begin to tap into the memory seed atoms that go along with that. And that's the, that's the imagination. And there are three higher ones. That's all I'm going to give you now. So that's three hours. We'll talk about the rest of them later. But also, we want you to know that that is what we want to give you. That is what we want to help you with, not just the information, but also to let you know the things that we've been through and how they work, how they and the test, the challenge. We're not afraid to tell you the negative things about us. We've all had them. Michael said that you most more. You, most of you have experienced everything, the major things, but not specifically you, but one of your soul family. And so uh, someone that wants to know how Randy and I met, 
So I'm going to turn it over and let him tell you that story. Okay. Well, um, it started with uh, a mutual friend of ours. Actually, we wrote a we uh, were co-authors in a book that we wrote together with this person, Robert Gerard, and um, he and I were going to hold an event, and uh, he said, let's invite Ron Herman to this event, you know, to be a speaker. I said, oh, I know who she is, and uh, I'll contact her. And at that time, I had seen Ron at Channel Archangel Michael a few times, at least two times, uh, up at Mount Shasta at the Wezak celebration, and that was... 1996 was the first time I saw her, but I didn't know her personally. Anyway, so I contacted her, and uh, and then I started attending her events, and that's and then I eventually asked permission to share Archangel Michael's teachings, and 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 she gave me permission to do that, and then I uh, I said, well, how about doing uh, some webinars? And we titled them Ask Archangel Michael. And she said, well, let me think about that. And then like a day or two later, she said, yeah, okay, let's do that. And uh, that's how we met. And uh, that was back in about 2001. Um, are you willing in, the next, in our next video telling about how Michael... Oh, yeah, the, the message I got from Michael? Yeah, well, hell, yeah. Oh, yeah, all that? Yeah, well, that's a good idea. That's a good, that's, I'd love to tell that story. Yeah. <laughs> no, you need to tell that because that, that, pre that prefaced, that prefaced us, us working together. That was the, more or less the validation. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. okay. So, yeah. so, dangle, dangle. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so uh, we'll, we'll share that story too. <laughs> so, so basically, uh, we, it, it, it can be joyful. It, it, it's, it's heavy out there now. And we want you to feel some of the joy in our place. People talk about how we laugh. Uh, we do. We enjoy each other. We, we even fuss at each other a little bit once Yeah, we do that sometimes. <laughs> because, it's not always roses. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. But, but, uh, but the soul connection and, and the soul, the soul uh, family connection is is just so perfect it's, so, it's not perfect but it's so beautiful and it's so beyond so shall i go ahead and 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 give the little buzzword now shall i do that go right ahead okay so so look at we're going to have a new buzzword you know i always as you know i close everything angel blessings and randy you know we always say love or, or whatever and i thought we've got it you know and and we share we, it's because we have to share that we share our love we share it's a part of us to express our affection and, and uh, 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 how we honor and how we treasure each other. And so, so here in the 340 way, you know, it's been out there forever. XOXO, which is love, love and hugs or love yeah, and kisses. Yeah, kisses, and, love, and kiss, kiss, hugs and kisses. Hugs and kisses. Yeah. And, you know, so that's XOXO. So it came to me, I created Zio, Zio, and that's sacred love. So, Let's start getting to zeal, zeal, and sacred love. I'll talk about that too. It's a lot different than human love. The soul, soulmates. It's a lot different. It's not the physical love. You're not waiting for your twin flame to come along so you can have a uh, cosmic sex. <laughs> no, it's a lot more than that. So we're going to create zeal, zeal, a sacred love hologram that we all are going to contribute to, and that hologram is going to be. Here and it's going to create a pyramid, which is going to benefit everybody. How about that? Do you want to join us with that? So let's do a zeo zeo bombardment around the world and see how fast it spreads. Are you with us? It's going to be fun. So let's get going. Love you. Next time. Much love and many blessings. More heart to yours. Z-O-Z-O. Z-O-Z-O. <laughs> <laughs> Bye for now.